Summerlin, you are the most amazing thing that's ever happened in my life. I could have never imagined meeting anyone as incredible as you are. In bringing you to me, God has blessed me beyond anything I ever deserved. As beautiful as you are, every day, but especially today, your kindness and caring spirit are what made me fall in love with you. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you, growing together in Christ. Because of this, I promise to always love you and always honor you, no matter what challenges life brings us for the rest of our life, as long as we live. Love you so much. With my whole heart, I take you, Robert, as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I promise my faithfulness to follow you through all of life's experiences as you follow God, that together we may grow in the likeness of Christ and our home be a praise to him. I will be yours in plenty and in few, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I promise above all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly. You are my person, my love, my life, today and always. just to observe a, a, an empty ceremony. We're not here just to support a, a young couple, but we are here bearing witness to a commitment that they are making together as they are being joined together. You see, Christian marriage is no simple contract. It's not just something that, that you enter into that the state validates uh, and, and, and that when you get tired of it, you can break it. Christian marriage is a vow. Christian marriage is a covenant between a man and a woman. And the Lord validates this union. And that's very serious. In keeping with all this, I declare as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ that they are husband and wife, so they are no longer two but one flesh. What God therefore has joined together, let not man separate. Robert, you may kiss your bride.